This story will cover from then to now and next, all about change, how to turn losers into winners. Every spring and summer, billions of insects fly north as far as from North Africa to the Arctic Circle, some 3,000 miles, that's well over 4,000 kilometers. They fly high and low over wild mountains and man-made fields, over lakes and rivers, towns and cities, in fact, over all the landscapes of Europe, from the biggest forests to the tiniest of gardens. The question is, who will reach the farthest? On the way are many hazards, crossing the sea, being eaten by predators, starving to death, and these days, particularly, the effects of climate change. Who will win this competition of survival? Along the length of the hot Mediterranean, the contenders set off in early summer. The migratory locust has even reached the north of Scotland back in 1748. Can it fly even further now? As times and temperatures have changed, so have the fortunes of many insects. Indeed, they are the equivalent of canaries in the coal mine, or rather across the planet. Some are winners, others losers. The question is, how can we help turn losers into winners? In the same way that canary birds put in a mine warned of dangerous conditions down there, by surviving or not, and so can insects warn us of dangers to the planet. From snow on the Pyrenees between Spain and France, following not a hummingbird, but a hummingbird hawk moth. Flight refueling with a precise proboscis and a gentle hum, and then it's on again. But which of these potential great travelers will reach the furthest, even the Arctic Circle? Food en route is vital. Diverse service stations come in the form of flower meadows, increasingly scarce, partly due to political policies. And all along the shores of the Mediterranean, painted lady butterflies fuel up on tamarisk flowers. No, these ladies are not for turning. Yes, they're off. Epic travels across Europe. Who will fly the farthest? In this fast-changing world of hot and cold, land and sea, some will be winners and some will be losers. Let's hope we can turn losers into winners.